Hello, what is up guys? This is Code Moon, also known as Ray Quadra, today bringing you guys another YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be covering lots of different content, starting off with the Logan Lions and my expectations towards the Cubs drop. Uh, in addition, I'm also going to be talking about a CDC project that I'm going to be getting, looking forward to getting into, a little bit about ApeCoin, and then lastly, uh, I'm just going to tell you about a recent purchase that I made in the NFT space, and that's basically about it. So with no further ado, let's get right on into this video. All right, as you guys can see, we are on the crypto.com NFT page, and basically a lot of different PFP projects have been coming out. I think it's been pretty overwhelming for the community, especially with some of the prices of them. And for the most part, most of these projects haven't been doing well, especially after after release. Um, as you can see here, uh, Bally's are down from the original price, Beats Heads, Bull Run Crew, which just came out recently. Uh, the only ones that are up are the Alpha Bots, Mad Hair, Psycho Pitties, and of course, the Loaded Lions. So uh, I think just one notable thing though is that the Alpha Bots, they were pretty up high up because of the anticipation of the, um, the weapon drop that happened. But basically when this drop, uh, most people thought that the price of the weapons would offset the decrease in the floor price of the actual Alpha Bots. But in this case, it was actually uh, more of a decrease and this just didn't offset it completely. So that's notable just because the Cubs drops is going to be happening soon. So in terms of the Loaded Lions, uh, we've seen that it's been kind of stable at like 3.7k to 4k. It just bounces back and forth, not really passing 4k. Uh, will I think this will pass um, 4k by the time the Cubs drop happen? Maybe it's possible, but for the most part, it'll probably stay at 4k. And then after the Cubs drop, my expectation is going to be very similar to what happens with Alpha Bots. Um, the price of this will decrease. Hopefully the offset is exactly what the Cubs would be going for, uh, but that could not be the case. It could go down a little bit more, like exactly how the alpha bots happen, but let's, not, let's hope that's not the case. But the Cubs drop is coming on the 17th. It's not, not, far, it's not too far away. Uh, and if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go and participate in the contest to win potentially legendary um, Cub. All you have to do is create um, a funny meme or funny caption between one of the three, uh, one of the three clubs, and then do this within tomorrow's. I think the deadline for it, and you have a chance to win basically one of the three clubs. So super bullish on loaded lions until the 17th. Uh, we can expect the floor price to drop down from there. But you guys know me. I've diamond hands. I'm not holding. I'm not selling. Now hopefully try to get a mill for this lion. Hopefully. Anyway. Um, Last but not least, uh, make sure you guys do um, join the mainnet exclusive Discord channel. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there are exclusive contents that uh, caught contests that happen here. Uh, they had a padlock giveaway, and about 968 people entered. But as you guys can see, there are 3,700. I mean, sorry, 4,650 holders. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you join the Discord for more chances to win contests. Also, another notable thing is we did pass the volume of 40 million. Congratulations. Uh, this is pretty big. Uh, it shows that there are still lots of lots of potential in the project. And if you guys continue holding, hopefully the floor price will be 10K eventually. So moving forward, in terms of the crypto.com NFT drops that are going to be happening, um, I can tell you straight up, I'm not going to be partic participating in any of these drops that are here. Uh, one drop that is supposed to be happening that I will participate in is the Trip PFP drop. If you guys follow the Trips Discord, um, they are new, they announced today that it's going to be $150 for a PFP. So that's really, really um, cost friendly. A lot of people were um, super positive reviews about this. And also the, the PFP art looks absolutely amazing. I know on the Discord, they don't have um, basically like some previews for you guys to see. I think it's going to be coming soon, but you guys can check out their their benefits from holding. Apparently, there's going to be a game that's coming out, um, and this is how the game would actually look like. They're going to be different ratings for what you have, and they're going to have like different stats to them. But the art is really, really cool. Um, I saved some preview pictures. I don't know if this is exactly what's going to be in, that's exactly going to be coming out, but it does really look really, really nice. Um, this is one of them. Really, really nice piece. I think it's probably gonna be like a legendary. And then this one is like a diamond hands one. 
again super good art uh i'd be surprised to see if it doesn't do well and it doesn't sell out but for the most part i think um this project will definitely sell out it's going to be one of the better ones amongst all the ones that just recently came out so next we have to talk about is apecoin the reason for this is just because the coin has just been going tremendously high um they started off last week at about 14 dollars, and now it's gone up to about 24 dollars. so almost a complete double up for holders absolutely been just tearing it up in terms of all the other coins in the market they've all been down in the last seven days but you guys can see ape coin i think it's number 28 uh, sorry number 22 actually and it's just been tearing it up 58.38 percent um absolutely incredible one notable thing though is just because uh it has been going up because of the potential land sale that's going to be held via dutch auction the way that Dutch auction works is they're going to start off at the highest asking price. And then from there, if there's no bids, it's going to go lower and lower. But rest assured, I'm pretty sure that these spaces are all going to get sold out. They're going to be bought out by whales. Um, for the most part, we won't have a chance to buy them. But it's good to know this information because I feel like when that land sale actually happens, it's supposed to happen at um, Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern. So when that sale actually happens i think that the coin is going to fall a bit so people buying in right now uh i just be really really I, I wouldn't really buy in right now i try to save wait for the dip and then after the dip comes maybe maybe get back into start a like start a position again but anyway that that coin has been doing really really well in terms of the whole crypto market recently but we've seen things on the last yesterday and today slightly going back up I bought a little bit in Luna, and then I also bought a little bit into the Kronos again. So I'm um, really, really bullish on the crypto market in terms of the near future. I think it will definitely bounce back. Um, we're just testing some resistances and supports down here. But anyway, um, moving on, another thing that just recently came out was the RTFKT. Um, they released their first Nike collection, their first actual collaboration collection with Nike. If we check it them out, uh, sorry, view collection. This is their OpenSea collection. They're currently trading at 1.96 ETH, a uh, fairly cheap price. I think this price um, is a good time to get into. I bought one personally just because most of the things released uh, in this collaboration do tend to go up. If we check out with just the other projects that's released, Clonex, um, they're at like 17 ETH. Even the box is at like 9 ETH. And then um, in terms of, there's also another box and there's the vial. But let's just go back to the sneakers first. Um, the way that these sneakers work are, you have to get a skin vial and sneaker. And then if you get a skin vial, you can basically place your skin vial in the sneaker. So just wait one sec. Let this spin around. So yeah, basically right here in the middle is where your skin vial will go into. And then based on that vial, you will get a change in color in the shoe. If you want to see what they actually look like, um, here's one. This is a pretty rare one. It is the angel DNA. And then your shoe actually just transforms. So it's really, really cool. I think this project will go up. Um, not Maybe not in the like immediate short term, but overall it will go up. It just recently came out. And just like all the other, um, just like all the other RTFKT um, crypto items, they've all been appreciating over time. Even if we check the first box or the Clone X, we can just go back to their activity and we can see all time. <coughs> um, most of the stuff that they do release tends to appreciate. So I think it is um, a decent long term hold, especially if you have some extra capital laying around. Why not? But basically, that's all for today's video. If you like the content that I shared today, be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Total Moons out. Peace.